Okay, Baron Connell was looking for a means to um, turn a block of wood with a hole drilled through it. So here I've got a 4 inch block of box elder with a 9 30 seconds hole drilled through it. I use a, a 9 30 seconds aircraft bit in a, a Jacob's chuck that I put in the tailstock and I hold the block of wood in the headstock but I get a longer bit like that and I use 9 30 seconds because I find that a quarter inch hole for a quarter inch tang on a um, rapier will a blade will will not go through if there's any bend at all in it. 930 seconds works but you can go buy a, a friction drive like a light pole drive but it only fits a quarter inch. So here's what I've done. First I got a hold of a just a spur drive, something that had a number two Morse taper. You take three blocks of wood, you, you glue one block to a um, this piece of plywood scrap, you lay the number two Morse taper in, you glue the other block to it so you get the sizing to fit a number two Morse taper. Then you take a block of wood, you mount it between centers, you start turning and you just keep trying and fitting until you get it to fit that block. You got a number two Morse taper that will fit snugly in the headstock. Okay. Tailstock, I'm using a 60 degree cone center, just a, a live center that can spin. There's a bearing inside there, but it's got a, instead of the cup, it's got a cone. You can find a lot of those available. I glued, I'm sorry, at this end, I turned this down so it's exactly 930 seconds. So it's a fairly nice slip fit. Um, I cut a flat shoulder across the top, and then I glued in a piece of um, sandpaper to give me some friction so that I can now put this on bring my tail stock up, put some pressure on, and it can't turn because of the friction. See how close I can get here with my my light in the wrong place probably. So can I turn that? Yep. So I should be able to If it goes to it catches like that, just give it a little more pressure, a little more friction. So you can turn just about anything at that point with enough friction as you do that. You don't need a special mandrel, you just basically need to make yourself a little friction drive at the front end.